Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Got another video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. All right, let's get down to it. CompTIA Pentest Plus. CompTIA Pentest Plus is for cybersecurity professionals tasked with penetration testing and vulnerability management. Now, if you do plan on getting into the penetration testing or red team type of career path, then I would recommend going out, looking into this certification to see if it fits your criteria, see if it fits your career goals. If it aligns with everything, then go ahead and test out for it. I went and test out for it about a year ago before I went and took the EJPT exam. This exam is not really hands-on, but I do believe the exam itself did have those performance-based questions we had to do, like drag and drop, you know, fill in the blank, um, some other things like that. Most of the test was multiple choice, but it did display like these are the results of Nmap or something like that. What is what is it showing here, or what type of information can you use out of this screenshot to provide information to answer the question? So you do have to know what you're looking at and actually study for the ex exam why is it different comptia pentest plus the most comprehensive exam covering all penetration testing stages right that is true it does cover all those stages in depth from their point of view so it teaches you the outline the basics of penetration testing this is not an advanced certification it's i would consider it to be a entry level certification if you want to break into uh, the penetration test side of things. Pentest Plus is the only exam on the market to include all aspects of vulnerability management. It not only covers hands-on vulnerability assessment, scanning, and analysis, but also includes planning, scoping, and management, managing weaknesses, not just exploiting them right. It covers those areas as well, as you can see there. It goes through the different stages of vulnerability management, explains those to you in a clear and concise manner. So you'll, you'll get that information that you can take back and use in your IT career or cybersecurity career. Pentest Plus is the most current penetration testing exam covering the latest techniques against expanded attack surfaces, right? They do update these exams like every three years or so, so the information is relatively up to date. I mean, as you can see there, it covers all types of environments, cloud, hybrid, web apps, IoT, and traditional on-premises. See, about the exam, Pentest, Plus assesses the most up-to-date penetration testing and vulnerability management management skills necessary to determine the resiliency of the network against attacks, blah, blah, blah. Required to plan a scope penetration testing engagement, understanding legal compliance requirements, perform vulnerability scanning, and then you can see the rest there. Now, something different here than the EJPT. The EJPT, you don't have to go through the penetration testing um, pre-engagement stuff like plan and scope. You just go and take the exam. You just, Basically, the EJPT, you're starting the actual penetration testing, whereas the Pentest Plus, you're going over all that scoping documentation, all the pre-engagement documentation, as well as the stages um, in depth. What skills will you learn? Planning and scoping, information gathering, vulnerability scanning, tax and exploits, reporting and communication, tools and code analysis. You do look at some code, I believe. I When I was studying for it, the book that I was using had presented some code from like Python or PowerShell, Bash, what have you. And some of the questions from like the practice exam had asked about what code snippet, what kind of code is this? Is this Python? Is this PowerShell? Is this Bash? Is this C++, JavaScript, what have you? So you have to know what kind of code you're looking at so you can determine what the correct answer is. And this, this also helps you in the real world when you come across malware or any type of... Uh, attacks or if you want to exploit some kind of vulnerability and there's already some poc code available you just go and download that code and then you modify it to fit what you need it to do right so why, why reinvent the wheel or you, even better you can create poc code yourself this could help you point you in the right direction Jobs that use CompTIA, Pentest Plus, Penetration Tester, obviously, Security Consultant, Cloud Pen Tester, Web Pen Tester, Cloud Security Specialist, Network and Security Specialist. Right, see, as I was saying, not only does it cover the penetration testing 
activities, but the, the things that you learn from studying for the exam and then also passing the exam, you can use it in a, in a wide variety of IT or cybersecurity careers. My point is that I care less about earning the certification itself. I care more about the learning process and what I can actually use from what I learned and apply that knowledge to the real world or, or to my career path. If you guys enjoyed the videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, and I'll have another one with you soon. Thank you. Indeed.com is a job search job board website where you can go in and search very different jobs in different areas, what have you. It's pretty self-explanatory what you put in, job title, certification, what have you, then where, location you want to work. Anyway, as you can see here, I have Pentest Plus entered in there so I can see how many jobs come up that have this or may have this listed on there. Not all these will have that listed on there, but some of these will have it inside of the job description itself. Sometimes it's on the under the requirements or education section of these. See, it has it listed here in industry specific technical certification, Pen Test Plus. It's got a bunch of others in there. I just want to point this out that this is a tool that you can use to go and search for what jobs you're looking for, what certifications. So hopefully, that can help you in your cybersecurity career.